Today, we call a woman who, like many of us, loves the wholesale superstore, Costco. Ugh, oh, yes. yeah, who doesn't? Bring me there now. And <laughs> recently, she let her friend borrow her membership <gasps> card to get in. Uh-oh. Now, they didn't get caught, luckily, but they're about to. Uh-oh. Because her mm. friend asked us if we could do a prank on her. <laughs> so yes. she's about to feel the wrath of Costco corporate Uh-oh. in your <laughs> brand new phone tap right now. Hello? Hi, this is Shauna from Costco Membership Services. Is this Maria Vel? Um, yes. How can I help you? Well, unfortunately, it's my job to inform you that we are suspending your Costco membership indefinitely. Um... I'm sorry, suspending it indefinitely? Why? What? Yep, it's been deactivated, and it's not going to be permissible at any of our locations. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I am so confused right now. Why? Can you tell me why this is happening? What's going on? I think you know, Maria. No, actually, I really, I honestly don't know what I, what I did. It's come to our attention that you've allowed another customer to borrow your sacred Costco membership card. Um, yeah, I'm, well, no, I mean, huh. okay. It's hard to decide, isn't it, when someone catches you on things like that? You said yes, then no, then maybe. Well, yeah, I mean, okay, so I, I did, like, just once, though. I didn't think that that was, like, yeah, an issue. Is. All right. I gotta say, Costco does appreciate acts of sharing in community. However, we must remind you that Costco membership cards are like precious gemstones only meant for the eyes of the card holder. Okay, but I, I feel like a, like an indefinite suspension is like a little drastic, don't you think? At this point, if you want to continue to use our services, you'll need to report to Costco Court. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Costco Court? That's that's not even a real thing. Oh, it's very real. Every Costco store has one, a courtroom. <laughs> it's behind the pharmacy. What? Where justice is served in bulk. This can't, no, that can't be a real That's thing. our catchphrase. I've never, I was never informed about this Costco court. I was never. Actually, yes, you were. It was in the fine print when you signed up. What, what are you talking about? It's part of our Costco commandments. I, I just can't believe that you're telling me that I have to go to Costco court just because I let my, let somebody use my membership one time. Like that just doesn't seem fair to me. Oh yeah. I can understand that, you know, but I promise Judge Kirkland is very fair when it comes to Costco convicts. Judge Kirkland? Is that supposed to be like cute and funny or something? Cross your fingers. He's in a good mood the day you come in. I have never. Last week he gave a college student an 18 month sample ban. No. Could you? Imagine? I, I can't do this. Like, how do you even enforce something like that? Do you guys have, like, Costco police or something? Maria, we're Costco. We sell full chickens for under $5. We can do anything. It sounds like it, clearly. But I'm not going to Costco court. Like, I... Oh, you better show up. Because if you don't, you're going to get stuck with Costco community service. What? Oof. What exactly is Costco community service to begin with? You get parking lot duty for three weeks and have to bring all the shopping carts back. So all of those people in your parking lot are doing Costco community service and they're not your employees? I'd ask you not to judge them just because of their prior convictions. Okay, so They're committed like, to Costco. This is absolutely they're ridiculous. They're working their way back into the system. Is there any way that I can get off with like a warning or something? Like clearly this is my first oh. time breaking any Costco commandments. I don't know that you want that a Costco warning would include no toilet paper or wipes for six months. Oh. That's literally why I go to Costco. That's where I get all of my toilet paper from. Like, why oh, would you guys take away the one thing that I get all I mean, the time? I could have the radio station deliver you some of theirs, you know, from Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. What? It's only one ply, though. Wait, Rough. why are you throwing a radio station into the mix of all this? Like, what do they have to do with anything with Costco? I don't understand. Well, they love Costco. I'll tell you that. And I'll also tell you that this is Brooke from Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. And this is Stop. actually a prank phone call. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> it's all a joke. Oh my God. Thank God, I was freaking out. Yeah, your friend Candace said apparently you love Costco too. I do. Yeah, and we heard you let her borrow your card a couple times. I mean, yeah, I have. But Maria, I won't even let my husband use my card. Okay, oh my I don't want to get banned from that place.
I'll have to keep that in mind because this was this was a good awakening for me to never let anyone use my Costco card ever again. You're really wondering if people are waiting outside the pharmacy for prescriptions or a court hearing. <laughs>